So in that trash can are some of our chicks. We've had two chicken tractors going. And the older chicks have been moved to the field, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is where the smaller chicks were. So our son, youngest flannel, is good at moving chicks. That's not really the point of this video though. To be honest, today's almost a behind the scenes type thing. And I hate to say scenes like there's some big secret, but we've been trying very hard lately to come up with very entertaining, funny vignette things to go into our videos. And I'm running out of time to do those things and take care of a bunch of homestead chores. So today is kind of homestead chore day, which is almost every day on the property. It's just we try and keep the most interesting things set aside for you. And I don't know how interesting any of these things will be to you. If you enjoy watching us just for our sake, well then you're gonna have a great time. But if you are here for some funny antecedent or something like that, I'll do my best. But there's no guarantees because I have got to get these things done. So our driveway has been torn up over the past two winters with rain and mud. We have a six foot grading blade on the back of our 53 Jubilee that we call Lucy. She's running great. Our truck has got a truckload of gravel in the back of it. We've already started spreading it. That's got to get put down. If you watched our last video where we burned a big pile of wood that included poison ivy, it actually melted the front hydraulic hose of my tractor. So we've got to put that on. And we've got to repair our weed torch because the previous owner of it melted part of the hose and duct taped it and it was hissing propane while we were using it. And that's not good. So we're gonna get those things knocked out and I figured you might wanna tag along. And if you don't, well, thanks for at least clicking on the video and we'll see you next time. If you do, hang tight because there's gonna be some music and some work getting done. So this is the pump right here. This is the return tube. And this is actually the reservoir on these old tractors. And what happened was, while we were running into the burn pile over there with all that poison ivy, it kind of sort of melted a little bit. So it's just a couple of hose clamps. I'm cutting it to length. Now I had high pressure suction hose on here, but I realized after the fact that it's just a return. It doesn't need all that pressure. Nope. <laughs> oh, but it does have a wire in it that I was not prepared for. She's on there. I'm gonna have to go back and cut that off later. Well, hello, stink bug. You stink. Now the real question will be, do I have enough hydraulic fluid left in it to raise the bucket to get it back to the barn where the rest of my hydraulic fluid is? And I would have trucked out my hydraulic fluid, but as I was firing up the golf cart to come out here and do this work, the golf cart quit. I think the battery's dead, but I don't know. One more thing. Yeah, no, no fluid. So we'll be right back. If that previous segment sounded a little disparaging about not finding stuff, you know, interesting for you guys and whatnot, it wasn't meant to be. It is a gorgeous day. My other tractor is working, Lucy. Woohoo! She come to the rescue. So we've got hydraulic fluid in our wrench. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And I am happy to share it with you. But I realized I was stressing myself out trying to think of something interesting or funny. And I wasn't gonna film anything if I didn't have it. But then I realized, for those of you that are still watching, you watch because you're rooting for us. Sure, maybe you watch to learn something. But I think most of you watch because you're vested in our story. And I really appreciate that. Also, we talk a lot about things we've never done. I've never had a six foot blade on the back of Lucy before, so I'm excited to see what grading this driveway is like. 
I gotta put you down and put some oil in this thing. So in our last video, we took out all these trees and burned them, and that was awesome. But it's left a huge mess. And you can see here where the tire of the tractor spun out a little bit. You can see all the exposed gravel down here. Low spots here. There's a few further down, and there's actually a few further up. But I didn't want to come through here and start grading with all these uh, wood chips and bits laying around, so we're gonna get that tidied up real quick. And then once that's done, I can drive the old 350 down here and start shoveling. <laughs> Let's do it. You remember how I said I'd never used the blade on the back of Lucy before? Well, the truth is, I've never graded a driveway before. We'll see how this turns out. this with one hand while trying to operate the hydraulic arms probably not the best idea but it makes for good video so I did not buy enough gravel but I think I bought enough that it'll work for now 6,000 pounds is a lot to shovel out. And I'd like to make this driveway nice for a myriad of reasons. One, Mrs. Flannel drives on it and we try and treat her right. Two, more and more of you have come to visit this place. And I'd like you to have a lovely experience here as well. We're gonna start teaching conferences here before too much longer potentially selling flowers from the property. So having a nice driveway. Well, it's nice. All right, let's go.
go put Lucy away. Ooh. We're cooking now. Lucy has her own designated parking spot. So now we gotta fix the weed torch and see if charging the battery in the golf cart worked. And then we can call it a day. So we've cut out the burnt section and now we're gonna fix it. All right, we're gonna heat our rubber a little bit, make it more malleable. You have old rubber hoses that you're trying to get off. This works too. Looks like that's about all we're gonna get. And that's okay as long as it doesn't make a really bad hissing noise. <laughs> it's only propane. Propane accessories. Anything will be better than the duct tape it was. Holy cow. And these things are about 40 bucks. These little weed torches. And this repair kit total is 10. That's pretty good savings. And here we are. And you remember how I told you the golf cart was dead? Woohoo! It was just the battery for some reason. It wasn't charging. Which I don't even think this thing has an alternator to speak of. I think it just has the starter motor and then it recharges through that. But whatever, it doesn't matter. It's running. The tractor doesn't have a hydraulic leak anymore. And my driveway's smooth. It's been a good day. I'd like to ask for your help. As you guys know, we're saving to try and build an addition on the back of our house. And there are things that would make our lives easier on the homestead and for the channel. And I don't like asking for money because the idea behind the channel, in terms of monetization, is to get paid by the ad revenue, not necessarily you guys. We certainly appreciate the super chats and things you guys send, but as you know, YouTube takes a big chunk of that. So we've created an Amazon list, and actually we created it quite a while ago, and I forgot all about it until one of our subscribers mentioned it. And I hadn't updated it or done anything with it. So we have gone in and added, I don't know, five or six things that we could really use around here. One of them is slightly superfluous. Superfluous. One of them is slightly superfluous. And that would be the milk frother. But Mrs. Flannel's been making her lattes at home to save money. Not that she ever bought lattes anywhere else, but it still saves money to make them at home. So she's been frothing her milk with a handheld blender. So that little milk doodad. But everything else either has to do with equipment for the channel or things that we're going to directly use here around the property. And if you are so inclined and would like to support us, that's one of the ways you can do it. Your views obviously count. Your likes and your subscription to our channel count, of course. Your comments and chats, all those mean a great deal to us. But just as a between you and me type thing, we could use a lot of those items. Sooner or later, we will purchase them ourselves. They are being budgeted for but as you guys know, we're on this mission to try and get this addition built. We hope eventually when we have workshops on this property to have people in that new space. And there's all sorts of ways to do it. It doesn't have to be that way. I get it, but that's what we're aiming for. And that's what we'd like. And I think that's okay. You can still support us and we'd appreciate it. So all that to say, 
Thanks for hanging out with me today. It meant a lot to me knowing that at least 50 of you <laughs> are going to hang out and watch this and appreciate the work that we do around here. It's nice to not do things in a vacuum. I hope you were encouraged spending some time with us today. Man, it's beautiful day. Keep growing as you grow. We'll see you next time. Here at Planet Farms. Bye.